Hi, I'm Kylie. I'm a sophomore studying civil and environmental engineering. Hi, I'm Alyssa, and I'm also a sophomore studying civil and environmental engineering. And today we're in Newmark, which is a civil engineering building on campus here. What first attracted me to civil engineering is just the diversity of topics that are covered. So you can choose to take a focus in construction management or hydraulic engineering or risk management or transportation. It really just covers a lot of different topics and that is why I wanted to study it. My dad suggested that I actually go into engineering because I really enjoyed my physics class in high school and I'm decently good at math. But civil engineering, I guess I could say why I stayed in it is just that, the diversity of the different things you can study and you don't have to just focus on one thing. So right now I'm, I want to go on track of environmental. That means I could go into water or I could go into power or energy or almost anything. So it's very malleable in what you can do. Wow, everything. Really the first thing that comes to mind is the building of infrastructure. So civil engineers build roads and bridges and buildings and houses and pretty much all of the infrastructure that you see around you. In addition, a sort of emerging part of civil engineering is the environmental side. And so that is dealing with water and air and land quality and quantity. You can also study a lot of interdisciplinary topics like sustainability, risk and uncertainty, and just sort of all of the new sort of emerging topics that cover civil engineering, but traditionally, it's just kind of infrastructure. We like to say is that we're the people that design and build, but we don't pour the concrete. I would like to work in a firm and be able to just get out there, get more experience. Hopefully, during my undergrad, I can get an internship, more internships, and after graduation, just be able to do it on my own, I guess. <laughs> after graduation, I plan on going to grad school and getting a PhD in like a non-engineering topic. So I plan on studying either economics or public policy and sort of bring my technical engineering background to a quote unquote softer field to sort of get involved in public policy or the environment and start making a difference in the world that way. So my favorite project that I've done so far was actually freshman year in our Engineering 100 classes, which is an introductory course. We worked on, I believe it was a water treatment, water filter and water transportation filter thing. And I think the research I did on that was just what to put in a filter and what filters out all the bad minerals in water. And I think that's what kind of drew me towards environmental because I like that aspect of researching something and being able to use your environment like soil, pebbles, rocks to create clean water. I'm actually involved in undergraduate research here. The research that I do has to do with assessing the relationship between any water and energy in the urban environment. So I do a lot of data analysis. I do a lot of, actually a lot of coding, which is sometimes fun. I've really loved to, the opportunity to learn a lot of background about the industry and sort of dig into one area that especially interests me and sort of become an expert in this one thing that I really enjoy. High school. AP classes. Take a lot of AP classes. I don't know about you, but I took calc after, that's all I took. I didn't even bother with statistics, AP physics. Yeah, I think anything that you can do to sort of get a good foundation for technical classes is going to be useful when you come here. Even if you end up repeating a class that you already took in high school, it's good to sort of have that foundation when you start. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Cheers to lunch.